As ordered by Governor Lee, students who attend in-person classes are required to wear a mask. The Jackson Madison County School System is honoring the governor's order, and as a result, registration for virtual classes is extended. Now, there were some parents who picked learning in person because we had actually said mask would not be required but encouraged. And according to Greg Hammond, parents are having second thoughts about how they want their kids to learn. Some people are comfortable wearing masks, some people aren't. So we wanted to give our families a choice. Parents were excited about allowing their kids to partake in traditional learning, even without a mask. But now more families are choosing the virtual option. When it comes to virtual learning, locals and many citizens across the nation have one question. What about the kids who do not have the proper resources? In Madison County, leaders are working hard to make amends. The Jackson Madison County school system uh, made efforts to ensure that 3,100 students, mm -hmm. we made steps to make sure those students would have devices. In addition to providing students with proper devices, county officials are working to make sure those students have internet access. As registration was extended for families who want virtual learning, county leaders are prepared to provide more learning equipment for those who need it. So, you know, our goal is to have more than the initial number of students that are saying they need uh, devices. As I continued to speak with Greg Hammond, I found out that after extending the registration for virtual learning, the number of students who want to stay home is 7,000. Greg also wants to put parents at ease by relaying that those who are using county devices, proper IT services are available. Jacinta Render for 39 News in Jackson.